The euro is trading at a two-decade low against the US dollar, with analysts predicting that the situation could worsen before the end of the year. The single currency is expected to continue sliding further and is also being pushed down by the strengthening dollar. Why did the euro fall to a 20-year low? Well, it was a, a mixture of, of a weak, weak euro and a strong US dollar. As I mentioned, economic activity, manufacturing and services in the eurozone, uh, the most recent figures were, were very disappointing. There are concerns that the eurozone is, is, is uh, either going to slow down or enter a recession. Uh, Wholesale gas prices this week in, in mainland Europe uh, settled at their record high, so there are major concerns over energy. There are also fears about will Europe have enough energy to survive through the winter uh, at, regular, at regular capacity. Those, those fears are all hanging over the euro. Turning your attention to, to the US dollar, well, as I mentioned, we, we've had multiple interest rate hikes from the Federal Reserve uh, in 2022. It seems as if more and large rate hikes are in, are in the pipeline, and the prospect of um, further rate hikes from the Federal Reserve is pushing up the US dollar. It, it, and it's not just purely about interest rate hikes, it's also to do with your willingness and your ability to do it. The Federal Reserve have made it very clear that they're willing, willing to tackle inflation, whereas the European Central Bank have taken a less aggressive stance in relation to their language. But what exactly does a low euro mean? First of all, it's expected to benefit European exporters. Think of the automotive sector in Germany or the consumer electronics sector or again pharma. It's also good for tourism, and especially for those Americans who will decide to hit the French Riviera in the coming weeks or the Alps this winter. And in general, it's good for any investment that you might wish to make in Europe, from buying a house to a company or stocks. Normally, a lower euro would then lead to higher exports and thus to a trade surplus, which would then in turn rebalance the situation and drive the currency back up. But so far, this is not happening. Amid supply bottlenecks and chip shortages, Europe's strongest industries are struggling. And that is why even Germany's lived to a trade deficit for the first time since 1991. And so a lower euro means pain ahead for whoever is buying oil-related products, which are denominated in dollars. And that can be the transportation sector, for instance, aviation, but also all the end consumers, as the prices at the pump are soaring, and so is any good that needs to be transported. 